YouTube family. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Vicki. Sorry about my throat. I've still got laryngitis and I've had bronchitis for a while. So hopefully it'll get better. It doesn't hurt. I just sound like this. But today I wanted to share a recipe with you all. It's called crock pot honey ham. And I'll tell you, I think it's the best ham that I've ever eaten. It tastes as close to honey ham that you buy from the honey ham, honey ham company. And um, it's real simple. It is just so much easier than cooking it all day in your oven, especially during the holidays when you may have other things in your oven that you're baking, a turkey or dressing or cakes or whatever have you. But um, the only thing you need is the ham, some brown sugar, and a can of crushed pineapple. So it's very simple to make. So I hope you'll give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Let me know if you make it. It's my family's favorite way to eat it. And it's so simple, so easy, and so much better and time, time saving. I can put it in every morning and just a few hours later it's ready. So I hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do that. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I would love for you to do that as well. So, I hope you're all having a great day. God bless you, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. So, today I'm going to be sharing... First of all, I'm sorry I still have laryngitis. But today I'm going to be sharing a crock pot recipe with you all. This is the easiest way i found to prepare a ham. And I think it's the most delicious way. The ingredients you're going to need is... Of course, your ham of your choice. I love the Kentucky Legend Spiral Sliced Ham. You're going to need a can of crushed pineapple and a bag of brown sugar. So the first thing we're going to do is layer the brown sugar in the bottom of the crock pot. So we're just going to put a layer on the bottom so the whole bottom is covered. The next thing we're going to do is put our ham down in the crock pot. Like that. Then we're going to take some more brown sugar and put it on top. And the way I like to do it is to take the brown sugar and actually sort of like go between each of the slices so that they get a little bit of that brown sugar in between them. Makes it taste so good. Just a little bit like that. You can add some more to it if you need to. Like this here. I just like to go between it. That's why I like to get the spiral sliced so you can actually, you know, put your brown sugar in between it. This is the way I do my hams for all of my holidays. It's so easy and it saves you space. Let me wash my hands. It saves you space in your oven too. Because like during the holidays, you know, you have everything baking. Now I'm going to take my can of crushed pineapple. I'm not going to use the whole can. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to put just a little bit around the edges of my ham. Just a little bit. Okay. In there. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit more brown sugar on the top. Pack it on there good. All right. So this is gonna taste like a honey ham, is what I think it tastes like when it's finished. I'm gonna cook it in my crock pot on low for four hours. Now you can keep an eye on it if you want it more done. You can, of course, it's already cooked, but this is just gonna let those um, flavors meld together and it's just so good, so good. So, I'll meet you back here in four hours and I'll show you what it looks like. 
and we'll taste it because it's absolutely amazing. I completely forgot to film us eating or tasting the ham, but this is what it turned out like, and it was absolutely delicious as always. So I hope you'll make this recipe. Mm -hmm.